Late afternoon, and the earth is warm and drowsing in the gentle sun, which has brushed gold onto the land all day long. The young river that men call the Bellow truckles quietly around tufts of reed in its bed. From the edge of the wood that guards the river, a pair of black-tipped ears rise above the grass. They belong to a young hare, born only in the spring and now half-grown. He is alert and curious. It is time to venture forth from familiar safety, to explore beyond the river bank where he has grown up. gap in the twining honeysuckle vines, enticing him on to explore just a little further. Through the trees he sees another clearing, but this one is long and narrow and it goes in either direction, to the north and to the south. At the edge, there is short green grass. He sniffs and wonders, feels unsure, a prick of fear. What is that over there? The sharp smell of death, and he sees fur pressed hard into the black smoothness. A chill shades the day, then worse, a sound, barely there at first, a low grumble, a growling snarl that grows louder, louder, screaming in the air. Terror and panic, he freezes. <laughs> dreadful howl, the roar is upon him. He hurls himself away from it, tumbling over and over in a battering, roaring slide. In the wood, on the far side of the road, in the damp rottery of last year's leaves, lives an old toad and his mate. Then, what is this? Old Toad sniffs. It is a bundle of fur covered in leaves. He sighs. Another poor creature crushed on the killing path by the roaring death from the world of men. Little Hare opens his eyes. The world swims and swirls around him, then steadies. Uh, 
says the toad. He wheezes a few times and eyes little hair thoughtfully. Did it not kill you then? <sighs> Lucky you be. I live by the water and I want to go home. hair is anxious. Which way is home? He watches as the sun settles by degrees behind the trees and the darkness reaches out from the woodland edge. A nightingale sings his age-old song. <laughs> Midsummer dawn, and the sun has yet to rise. the source of the river Waveney sits Barnow. Little Hare is at once fearful and tries to scramble back under the brambles. Oh foolish youngling, says the owl, I will not harm you. I come to warn you. Over in the trees is a terrible killing path where machines of men often kill wild creatures. Near the road in a dirty cottage lives an angry man called Judas Garwart. Careless of living things and those who strive to provide refuse and solace to wildlife, he has woken early and with his evil dog, Sawtooth, is out on the fen seeking food for his pot. As little hare rounds a dense thicket of blackthorn, Garwart spots him and shouts to his dog, Here, quick! Go on, boy, grab him! Mm -hmm. 